We are getting on board with school bus safety this morning. Angela Kelly joins us live from Lamers Bus Lines in Ashwaubenon with more. Hi, Ange. Hi, guys. I, I don't know. What do you think? Could I be a school bus driver? Absolutely. You're looking good yes, up there. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a reason I'm sitting up here because I'm going to show you. Uh, we're talking about rider safety. So basically, I'm going to open the doors. I always Kids wanted to do need that. To wait. I know. Should I do it again? <laughs> I would. Come on in. <laughs> uh, basically, kids need to wait before they even approach the bus. They have to wait for those doors to open. So the safety tips start with even, you know, just boarding the bus. But there are so many other tips, and we want to share a couple more with you. So for that, we're going to chat with Cindy Lawler. She is the school bus operations manager. Good morning. Morning. Okay, let's start with um, backpacks and things hanging off backpacks. Um, well, first of all, you want to take a look at your child's backpack, and things like this that are hanging from the backpack can be dangerous. Not only are these swinging around and they could hit other passengers on the bus, but one thing that you want to watch out for is any pinch point where this could potentially get hung up. You know, something like this where it could get trapped in here. And it could be, it could just be things like keys. It could be uh, jackets that they might wrap around there um, or stick through the, the uh, strap on their backpack and it hangs down. And those types of things can get caught in the door or caught in the edge of the railing. Mm -hmm. And this is actually, you said, this is one of the areas where most injuries occur on school buses. This is one of the most likely places, the entrance and the um, egress from the vehicle. Uh, explain that. Um, well, the... Uh, when they're when they're exiting the vehicle is predominantly the the biggest problem sometimes uh, as they're coming down the stairs if we've got wet feet from snow or from rain um, the floor can get somewhat slippery they do have railings here but um, sometimes they come down too fast they lose their footing and they sit down hard and uh, with the upper grade kids sometimes the problem we run into are the distractions of electronic devices these days um, we've got smartphones we've got iPads we've got iPods and uh, and they're actively you know looking at those reading emails texting when they're getting off the bus and they're not focused on coming down the stairs, their hands are tied up with that device so they can't use the railings and they're just not paying attention to. Yeah, but what's drivers going on. do have access to things to make sure that these steps stay safe. I mean, this could right. help wipe off some rainwater or debris. Um, Right. This would be a part of the driver's pre-trip inspection. They're checking to make sure that the step itself is sturdy, that from time to time uh, this metal will rust because we're in Wisconsin. Uh, so they check to make sure that the step is sturdy. The step treads are all securely fastened down and they're in good shape. They're not worn. So mm -hmm. we've got good traction and that, uh, you know, the step well light is working and that the railings are firmly attached. And then they would also take a look for debris and in the winter time for ice. And it, sometimes it is necessary when we have the cold temperatures to break ice out of the steps. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a clear surface sure. for the kids to board. All right. Well, we have a whole list of safety tips, uh, especially if you've got a, a first-time rider. Uh, go to our website, box11online.com. Click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab, and you'll find more tips there. Back to you. Got to keep Thanks, our Ange. kids safe. Thanks, Ange.